Welcome to Electron Line. Our next example is also a challenging problem. We're trying to take the limit as x approaches 0 of the quantity x divided by x plus 1 raised to the x power. If we try to plug in the limit, we get 0 divided by 1 raised to the 0 power. But how do you take 0 raised to the 0 power? Is that undefined? Yes, it is. What we can do instead, and especially when you see something that is raised to a function of x, where the exponent is a function of x, we can try to solve the problem by rewriting that function in a different way by approaching the natural log technique. What I mean with that is we're going to say let y equals the quantity x over x plus 1 raised to the x power, and then we find the natural log of that. The natural log of y will be equal to the natural log of x divided by x plus 1 raised to the x power, which allows you to take the x and put it in front of here. The natural log of y is equal to x times the natural log of x over x plus 1. Now what we can do is go ahead and rewrite it into a fractional format. The natural log of y is equal to the natural log of x divided by x plus 1 divided by, hmm, let's see here, bring it to the denominator, it would be x to the minus 1, or this is equal to, so the natural log of y is equal to the natural log of x divided by x plus 1 divided by 1 over x. Now, what would happen if we took the limit of that? If we take the limit of that as x approaches 0, we get the natural log of 0 divided by 1 over 0. Now, the natural log of 0 is negative infinity, and 1 over 0 is positive infinity. So we get an infinity over infinity condition, which means we can take the derivative of both the numerator and the denominator, then rewrite the function like that, and then allow the limit, us to take the limit. We, it looks like we have the Lahopital's rule condition for us to take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. What we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of that and say that the derivative of the numerator and denominator will look as follows. The derivative of the numerator would be 1 over x divided by x plus 1 times the derivative of this, which is a fraction, that means it's x plus 1, the denominator, times the derivative of the numerator, minus the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator, all divided by the denominator squared, x plus 1 quantity squared. Now we took the derivative of the numerator, then we have to take the derivative of the denominator, which is x to the minus 1, which becomes minus x to the minus 2. If we simplify that, let's see what we get. This is equal to x plus 1 over x, when we bring that to the numerator, times, here we have x plus 1 minus x, so the x's cancel out, so we end up with 1 in the numerator, and an x plus 1 quantity squared in the denominator, all divided by a negative x to the minus 2. This x plus 1 cancels out this x plus 1, so we get a 1 there, and the minus x to the minus 2 can go to the numerator, becomes x squared, a minus x squared, divided by x times x plus 1. This x cancels out with that x. Finally, this is equal to minus x over x plus 1. This is the function of the natural log of y when we take the derivative of the numerator and we take the derivative of the denominator, we get this right there. What's the next step? We'll come back over here, and we said, or I can say here, that the limit as x approaches 0 of the natural log of y is equal to minus x over x plus 1. If I now take the antilog of that, so the antilog of the left side and the antilog of the right side, come over here, take the antilog, the limit as x approaches 0 of the antilog of the natural log of y. y is equal to the antilog of this function right there, e to the minus x over x plus 1. Since y is equal to this function, that means that the limit as x approaches 0 
of the quantity x divided by x plus 1 raised to the x power must equal the limit as x approaches 0 of the quantity e to the minus x over x plus 1. Now notice we have a negative exponent in here. What we're going to do next is this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over e to the x divided by x plus 1. When we plug in the limit, this is equal to 1 divided by e to the 0 divided by 1, and e to the 0 is equal to 1. This is equal to 1. The limit of our original function, even though it looks kind of difficult to work with, we can find a way to get rid of the exponent by taking natural log of that, and we finally work it out. The limit of that function is equal to 1 as x approaches 0, and that's how it's done.